Hey, it's Karen. Ridley says hello. Ridley's feeling rambunctious today. He's got lots to say. So today's idea on how to get started, this series is for people who are really wanting to start with junk journaling, altered bookmaking, glue booking, all of the above, um, but are tentative. Not quite sure how or where to start. This series is specifically for you. Um, there'll be lots of avenues in, some screamingly obvious, some not so obvious, some seemingly too simple to be effective, some seemingly that's not an easy way in. <laughs> it all depends on where you are on the afraid to start spectrum because there is a a wide range. Some people will dive right in and just never look back and some people will watch videos for four years before they do anything and we all fall somewhere in the middle. So this is for you if you're looking for easy ways to start. Today's version is start with some junk because if you've purchased some beautiful papers, Stamperia, for example, is one of my favorite brands, but they're kind of pricey. If you've purchased some digital kits, again, some of them are very, most of them for the work that are got, have gone into them, most of them are, are pretty uh, reasonably priced, but you don't want to spend the money on a digikit and the, the ink printing out the digikit if you're afraid to start. You don't want to quote unquote ruin it. You know, it's paper and glue. You can't really ruin anything. Any Anything you screw up, you can glue something over to make it look better. You know, there's always ways to undo that. But still, again, people can be tentative in starting. So instead of starting with the pricey stuff, start with some junk. These came in the mail the other day. This is from my bank. It's just a nice brochure. Um super heavy paper already put together. This is an ideal thing to just slap on some papers. Now, you may or may not have already tried coffee dyeing, so maybe you have some papers lying around that are already coffee dyed. You might not uh, have, have pre-dyed coffee, but you probably have some newspaper that you could slap some white acrylic over or some gesso if you have it and glue that on to the junk so that you have kind of a blank canvas. Um, if you happen to like the colors that this offers, just <clears throat> glue stuff, embellish around it. Use that blue, red, and gray, and white color theme because I'm sure it's throughout the book. Oh, a little bit of teal. Hi, Ridley. Little man. We're letting little man just have his way today because he he had a rough night. But he's feeling better. He's feeling better. Hi, Riley. Uh, welcome to our channel. We have lots of dogs here. Yes, indeed. That's Miss Riley putting her two cents worth. Anyway, so you've got this beautiful color pattern. And the pages are already trimmed out for you. So really all you'd have to cover are are these. It's It's kind of almost a pre-made journal for you if you have you can make a pocket here and a pocket here for tucks or slides or um, this one if you have a piece of uh, dictionary page would be pretty on here um, if you don't have coffee dyed paper or newspaper or dictionary paper perhaps you have some just colored copy paper from days gone by or projects gone by or even just plain white copy paper if you want to sort of clean the slate you know put white paper down over all the things you want to cover up and then embellish from there there's lots of ways and this is mm, it's 11 pages plus the cover and again it's it's almost a template of where to start so watch your junk mail uh, for something like this. Um, this came from Victoria's Secret. Oh my goodness, listen. Oh, that's super nice cardstock. And almost every page has a 
perfume sample. So when I get ready to play with this, I'm going to peel all those off. So this particular journal is going to smell fabulous is what it's going to smell like. Um, again, some of the pages are already framed out. If you do just cover up that, you have a nice dark frame on this one. So again, you're not out anything. Use plain copy paper. Use scrap paper um, from or scrap material if you happen to be a sewer or old clothes or these old um this is an old placemat they were all stained i sewed them together uh to put on my to put underneath my computer stand so that the stand didn't scratch my newly painted table or newly painted desk uh, but placemats you know any kind of material uh, would work good these are placemats again so um and a lot of these are double sided so what I keep thinking is if I were to cut it and slip my book in there, it's already almost all the way sewn. You can either hand stitch the rest of it or sew it in your machine. It's, you know, just tuck it in like a, a, a pillowcase. I think that'd be an easy cover and you'd have maybe this on the inside and that, that on the outside. I mean, easy peasy. If you wanted to leave the back pocket open, you could do that. I mean, there's so many options. And again, it's junk. It's junk mail and an old placemat. You can't hurt this stuff. You just can't. You might be out some time, a little bit of thread if you're sewing, a little bit of glue. Um, but it's also worth it because what it's going to do is get you started. And that's the whole point. It's just to get you started. Make that first step. Take that first step. And you'll get on that confidence, competent loop, confidence, competency loop. The more you do, the more confident you'll get at it. The more confident, the more you'll do. Um, but the only way to get on that loop and to build momentum is to take your first steps. And so that's what this whole series is about, is helping people who are tentative, not sure where to start, not sure how to start, start, dive in. This one is uh, an, uh, oh, it's a, you know, back in the days when we used to be able to travel, uh, there'd be tourist newspapers, you know, what to do when you're downtown, where to shop, where to dine, those kind of touristy freebie newspapers. I just tore it in half, threw gesso on it. I kept the headlines I thought were kind of cool. Um, it was really thin paper, so I took colored copy paper uh, and papers that I had dyed and just glued them together. Clearly not even really well, but I just glued them together to make these pages a little more sturdy than just a flimsy free newspaper. But now I've got this blank canvas that I can do anything with. I can start embellishing this, and if you're not quite ready for embellishments, pick one that you feel confident doing. Um, one of the first ones I started with were seed packets. So seed packets. This is a, a real seed packet. Um, but this is what we're, it just seems so easy to do and fun. And so I did a few. Um, super, super simple. There's videos all over the place on how to fold paper into seed packets. You really just fold a tube, glue down the center. This one... Oh, I did glue the bottom and glue the bottom. These are just sort of tubes. They're not even really seed packets because I didn't leave the top. This one, I guess I did. There's a tiny little bottom and a tiny little top. Just like this. Bottom, seam, seam. Little lid, little, little flappy do. All right. Um, look how, how not perfect. It's cut goofy, it's cut goofy, it's it's really dirty and old, it's a newspaper that I coffee dyed, I mean it's it's nothing, this was my first effort, but I think they're going to be fun, they're going to be fun to tuck stuff into, they're going to be fun as little pockets, who knows what you're going to find in there, um, but then I went on to make regular seed packets out of, out of book pages, and the more I did, the better I got at it. Um, and this is a 1968 encyclopedia, oh look, I'll be, um, 
You never know what you're going to find in these things. Uh, 1968 encyclopedia that I had in my basement. Handyman encyclopedia. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, coffee dyed paper and they're all different shapes and sizes obviously this one's close to like a real seed packet size but whatever you have whatever you end up with these to me look like little ooh, case files ooh, fingerprint holders or specimen holders or something um those go in the in the case file one these almost look like mini cd holders do you remember those mini cds remember those tiny tiny little ones it's not, because I made this out of just paper. It, I don't even know what kind of paper. It's super thin. I made these a long time ago. Um, more book page. And so literally, I just sat down one night, and because it was so easy, fold, glue, fold, fold, snip, glue, fold, snip, glue. Super, super easy. All different shapes and sizes. This is just um, yellow paper that I coffee dyed. <clears throat> and then sidebar i happened upon this at one of the saint vinnie's halls and they have all these beautiful um seed packet pictures you know i thought it would go front and back it'd be so perfect to put on seed packets what else would you put on there and there's truckloads of them in here so i can i can make more seed packets so, if you don't know where to start with embellishments, pick one that feels good. That you, oh, I could do that. I could do that in my sleep. Yes, I can. Uh, and make a few. Now, I kept all of these really plain. I decorated a few, but I've already used them. When I make embellishments, I just keep them super, super plain until I'm sure where they're going. And then I decorate them to coordinate with whatever project I'm working on. Um, more sea packets, more horribly shaped ones. I mean, these are really bad. Look at that. But it's just torn newspaper. These I did decorate. These are my very first two. I just grabbed what was next to me in my office. I wasn't even in my craft room. I was sitting at the kitchen table. I had washi tape handy and planner stickers, a magazine, and that's what I did. Super, super fun. Anyway, I keep them playing until I'm ready to use them. Um, but if you're not into seed packets, I did a truckload of these the other day, too. They were really fun. Uh, they're four pocket. So it's one, one book page folded. Super easy. Pam at the Paper Outpost. I'll link it below. But it's one pocket, one pocket, two pockets. There's a third pocket and a fourth pocket, and depending on how you glue it, perhaps a fifth pocket with one book page. Uh, no glue. They're just, they're just, oh, I guess there is a tiny bit of glue. Um, there is a teensy bit of glue in that last little seam. My bad. I just lied straight up through my teeth. But I made bunches of them, different shapes and sizes. So, when I'm ready, I can put them all together. So, going back to this junk, I can start tucking these things in here. Even if I have no idea what kind of book I'm going to end up doing, I can start putting these things in here. Still leaving it as a blank canvas. A couple seed packets. Maybe I'll put one there that way. Hi, Rizzy. Look at me getting all fussy. It's junk. Who cares? There. That way it'll coordinate that page with that side. If I wanted to. This was kind of a belly band. It could be, if I put it down that way, it could be a belly band this way and a tuck this way. Same thing this way. It could be a belly band and a belly band. All kinds of options. You can also do these uh, corners, um, <clears throat> depending on where you want them to land. Decide. I would probably cut this this term off so that I have mostly um, 
text, but just tear pages. Uh, just tear, get yourself a, a old book from the library, an old book from your basement or your attic or your garage. Dollar Tree has books aplenty for a dollar. Um, so then you'll have a cover and you could tear pages out to your heart's desire. Um, some of these I had coffee dyed uh, the pages already and then I just tore them in half. And so this is another option. Again, I, I don't have to do anything to them except glue them in there. And then when I'm ready, I can embellish. Uh, unless there's something you really, really want to do on that back page. But you can work around it and you can always take it off if you want to decorate a, a lot in the on the page. Um, you can also, if you're feeling up to it, um, do some clusters and put a cluster on top of these little bits. But if you're not up to that, just do the blanks. And when you're ready, and you'll know it, you'll know exactly when you're ready to get started. You'll, it'll just happen. You'll start putting things in here and it will start coming to life before your eyes. Um, so still, I haven't made any commitments here. I haven't made any commitments as far as theme, as far as color. Uh, and all I've done is play with junk. It's old paper, coffee dyed paper. It doesn't have to be coffee dyed. It could be newspaper, magazine paper, book pages. It could be anything. And just start, and just start filling up your little, your little junky thing. Eventually, something will trigger for you. Eventually, you'll st you'll start going, oh, I think I want to do sunflowers in here. Oh, I think I want to do quotes or it, it'll it'll start speaking to you or this will just be your experimental thing anything that suits your fancy you stick it in here uh, there are a couple of people who are doing idea books and so they figure out how to do this four pocket five pocket thing they do one put it down and then just jot notes on how they made it or who they saw do it where they learned it um, so that when they go to do their projects they have this whole sort of encyclopedia of embellishments to make which i think is a brilliant idea so if you're not ready to dive in and do a full-on journal do a journal embellishment idea book start with just some junk watch your junk mail collect your newspaper start gluing pages together um, in the shape and size that you want. Watch your junk mail. Start embellishing something like this. Again, these things would be perfect. You know, coffee dye it, run your Tim Holtz pad over it or your shoe polish, grunge it up if you want. There's so many options and you won't be out anything. But you'll be ahead, ahead of the game because you started, you dove in, and now you're on your way to junk journal adventures left, right, and center. You'll be out nothing, but you'll be way ahead of the game because you dove in and you're now on your way to your junk journaling, altered book, glue book, obsession, adventure. Enjoy. Stay tuned. Lots more ideas coming for you on how to get started and how to dive in. But for today, my take at the lake, out for now.